What's up, you guys? So, um, I'm just doing a quick update video on the 52-week challenge. And uh, basically, I'd like to show you uh, what I've gotten up to so far up to this point. So, um, um, if you're new to the 52-week challenge and you want to know basically um, how it works, uh, essentially what you want to do is you want to save a dollar for every week in the year. Or basically, you want to save the same... Uh, dollar amount as the week that you're on so for example um, if you're on week one uh, you want to save a dollar week two you save two dollars and so on and so forth all the way to the end of the year which will be the 52nd week so um, at this point I'd like to show you what I've collected so far uh, or saved so far and as you can see uh, these are all ones and we are currently on uh, week 16 so uh, if you started at the beginning of the year, January 1st, 2016, uh, you'll see here that you have uh, week one, which is $1, week two is $2, week three, week four, uh, week five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, week 11, week 12, week 13, week 14, week 15 and over here you have week 16 so um, basically if you want to find out how much money you've saved up to this point we'll do like we used to do when we got bored back in the day and uh, we'll break out a calculator so uh, we'll just add we'll add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 for a total of $136. So, um, so basically we have $136 here. And uh, by the end of this week, which should be, let's see, uh, let's see, the end of this week, will make uh, April 22nd. So on April 22nd, you'll see that we will be on week 17, which is the, the 22nd. So anyhow, at that point, you'll have to uh, put in $17 because you're on week 17, and then you'll add that to the pile. And if we go back to our calculator, and add plus 17, you'll have $153. So uh, it doesn't seem like a lot, but you can see that if you start out with a little bit and develop a habit of saving, um, you can save quite a bit of money. So at the end of the year, um, the 52nd week, you should have somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,300 plus dollars. And when I get to that week, I'll do another update. I'll probably do another update between now and then just to kind of show you where we are and um, keep you guys in the loop. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to kind of motivate you guys to uh, get in the habit of saving and um, kind of teach the young ones, um, you know, the kids and everything, how to save on a very simple level. Uh, it's very easy. It's very simple. And, um, you know, a lot of times you think, you know, I don't have this amount of money or I don't have a dollar. I don't have two dollars, three dollars, whatever. But think about how many times you spend that, you know, on a week, weekly basis or, you know, a couple days. You know, this is just a dollar here, you know, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, so, so on and so forth. You know, you could easily go to McDonald's and spend sixteen dollars, you know, sixteen dollars, fifteen dollars you know, without even blinking. But when it comes to saving, you know, it's a lot of times we have this idea that, you know, we just don't have it. But anyhow, um, I just wanted to let you know that you can do it. It's easy. Um, you just have to uh, develop the habit of saving and um, you can begin to basically uh, build yourself a little nest egg. Um, for the future and plus you can teach your kids you know how to save 
without being overly complicated. And plus, you know, it looks cool. And, um, you know, you just want to, again, develop a habit of saving. Um, over time, once you begin doing this, you'll have more money than, you know, than you can imagine just through, you know, simple habits. But anyhow, I just want to share that with you guys and uh, hopefully encourage you to start saving. Um, if you wanted to catch up and get up to week 17 or week 16, basically what you need to come up with is uh, $136 for week 16. Or if you want to catch up to where I'm at now at week 17, which will be this Friday, you'll need to come up with $153. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video because it's getting a little long. But uh, anyway, uh, like I said, I just wanted to encourage you to kind of get in the habit of saving so you can, uh, you know, put a little something in your pocket. Plus, you know, for Christmas time, you don't have to, you know, you know, stress about, you know, not having money to buy gifts or whatever, or you might even just want to save it all together. So anyhow, that's all I wanted to share with you right now. And uh, hopefully you guys, uh, you guys will uh, begin to save as well. All right. Peace. And I'll talk to you next time.